Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a really easy uh, scarf lesson, scarf routine, if you will, for Louis Armstrong to What a Wonderful World, and this will be to celebrate Jazz Appreciation Month. So I started this lesson off by just talking about Louis Armstrong. Uh, there's so many great things to mention about him. I love to read some of the picture books to What a Wonderful World. I think there's a few versions out there. We talk about that he is from New Orleans and, you know, jazz originated in New Orleans. We also talk about that his um, nickname is Sachimo, that he's known for his great, you know, wonderful smile, um, that he is a singer but also a trumpet player and maybe playing some videos for them to hear that. And then we dive into a scarf activity. And this scarf activity really, um, the easy version, could be to for like first grade, second grade, um, and then I have a little bit of a challenge version of this that would be really good for fourth, third, fourth, fifth. I think six for this is a little bit of a stretch. I did it with them a year or two ago, and um, it depends on the class. Depends on the class, it's kind of a slower song, so the movements are a little bit slower, and sometimes sixth graders just don't, <laughs> don't quite feel comfortable with that, but definitely, I would say the sweet spot would be first or second for the easy version and then for the challenge version third fourth would be probably really great for this lesson so let's get into the scarf routine okay so you're gonna have your students um, let's start with the easy version you'll have your stand students stand in a standing circle each with one scarf you'll have to forgive this is an old navy scarf like hair scarf um, I don't have a regular movement scarf at home but it'll work so uh, you're going to explain to the students that the portion, the, the, in, the form of the music is going to be intro, verse one, verse two, bridge, verse three, outro. So there's technically five parts of the song, but all the verses you're going to do the exact same thing, and the bridge is where you kind of get the twist where students will really enjoy it. So outro, or intro I believe, is just going to be holding your scarf out. Then verse one, and again, verse one, two, and three are all gonna be the same. You're gonna start with a toss catch. So it's gonna be toss, catch, and it'll go, when you have actual movement scarves, they won't fall as fast, so it's a little bit easier to go slower. But toss, catch four times. So toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch, toss, catch. So that'll be the first part. Then you're gonna go sway to half notes, sway, 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 then a whole note all the way around. That's it, that's verse one. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'll add some music in just a moment um, for that. Then we have the bridge. The bridge is going to be, so whatever scarf that they have, you're at the bridge, you're going to call a color, let's say that you say pink, any students that have a pink scarf have to step into the middle of the circle and they have to switch places with another student. So you'll call red, orange, yellow, whatever your scarves are, and they'll have to quickly switch to a new spot. And then verse back to verse three is going to be normally what you do. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's get some music and add this. So intro, so on your scarf. Pink. 
spin your back to first three, you do the same thing, the top catch, and you finish it out from there. On, I'm gonna pause. So you do that again, and then on the very end when it goes, oh yeah, you could do one last toss and let your scarf go all the way to the ground. So that's the easy version. The harder version, it's gonna be pretty much the same except for one key difference. When you do your toss catch, it's not gonna just be to yourself. So it's not gonna be just toss catch. So what you're gonna attempt to do is be passing around the scarves around the circle. So if I had a student here on this side and a student on the left, so I would toss my scarf slightly to my right so the student beside me can catch my scarf. It's essentially like the version of like passing your cup. <laughs> it's like you're passing your scarf. So you're gonna to toss it slightly to the right so that they can catch it. And while the exact same time, the student to my left is gonna to be tossing it, I'm gonna catch their scarf. So it'll be toss, catch, toss, catch. And so how I did this is I pretty much had the students just do one time. I'd be like, okay, we're gonna do toss catch and then you are going to just do it one time, hold on to it. And once we could do it one time, then I was like, okay, now we're gonna do two times. And then we're gonna do four times. And so the toss catch is just replaced with the moving toss catch. Everything else stays the exact same. And some classes <laughs> did well with it, some classes didn't quite get it, but it was a fun challenge. Another idea is that you could have the students um, split up into smaller groups. So maybe you have a group of half the class, half the class. You can even have groups of like six or seven students and make mini circles and the students could try and master it that way. Um, but I think there's a lot of room for fun with just that toss catch, just like you would with your cups, you're doing it with your scarf instead. Okay, and that is it. A really simple, fun way to experience uh, What a Wonderful World. I see this song used so much in the music teacher community, and rightfully so. It just has such a good message, and Louis Armstrong is so fun to teach about. So this actually, if you are interested in the visuals, this is part of my jazz unit. I also include some other artists in it and some activities that you could do with them, like Ella Fitzgerald and Trombone Show Shorty. Um, but you don't need to have the visuals because I taught you in this video what you can do, but just in case, I will link it down below for you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.